Okay, once your project is created, you can go ahead and open up your terminal. Okay, I'm going to make this a bit bigger. And you can you can then navigate to your, to the directory where you want to place your project. So I'm going to change directory into my projects uh, folder and then app engine. And this is where I want to place my, my yum search project in. Okay, so how do we initialize our project on our local computer? Well, the Google Cloud SDK makes it nice and easy for us. We just have to type gcloud in it and then the application ID which we just created. So in this case, in my case, it's yum search 2. So I'm going to copy that and paste it in, in here. And the Google Cloud SDK is going to start and create this project for us. Okay, great, it is finished. And now we can actually go ahead and open it up in our, in our development environment. So in my case, this is PyCharm. So I'm going to open PyCharm and I'm going to open directory and I'm going to navigate into the directory where my project is. So in my case, it's projects, app engine, yum search 2. And you'll see there's a difference here because the Google Cloud SDK has created another folder inside of our, our project called default. We will want to open this folder instead of this one here. We want to open default because this is where we will be placing our application code. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up and we see we have a empty project. Okay. So, so there is nothing inside of our folder. So we will have to go ahead and create the app.yaml file ourselves. But instead of writing it out from scratch, I'll, I, I have pasted the code in the lecture notes. So you can just copy and paste it from there. I never write out the app.yaml. I always paste it. I always copy and paste it from other projects I have previously done. Okay. So let's go ahead and right click the default folder, hit new file and say app.yaml. And now I'm just going to paste in the code that I have put on the lecture notes. Okay, so we see this is essentially the, exactly the same file. The only thing we have to do is to change the application ID. So in my case, this is again, yum search 2 Okay. In your case, it will be whatever you have called your application. Well, your whatever you have assigned as your uh, project ID. Okay. And so there is just one difference here in this file that we still haven't covered. In, in regards to the guestbook application we have done, and it's these two lines here. What are we doing here? Well, essentially, we're doing the same exact thing as in the in the favicon.ico case. Instead, we are mapping mapping an entire directory instead of just a single file. So here we're saying that the static requests, starting by by static, will map to the static directory. Okay, and this is essentially the the only change we have. The rest of the uh, paths will be mapped to the router.app, which again, we have still not created. So let's go ahead and create all of our project structure. 